The name Hobo is really meant to evoke a sense of wanderlust, um, sort of playing with the literal and figurative intersection of a journey that somebody can have uh, with or without cannabis, uh, but with cannabis that becomes a little bit more playful. It was inspired uh, by the late 19th century uh, wayfarers who rode the railways that were being newly developed in, in North America um, and decided to sort of shed some worldly possessions and embark on some sense of a nomadic journey uh, in a real free-spirited, open-minded uh, context. Um, and so we really love the idea, the verb to hobo, uh, really energize some of the values of this brand that are really deeply cultural. Uh, and we individually and collectively do a lot of traveling for, for, for cultural reasons and are really interested in, in art and design and style and food and beverage and new experiences. So uh, all these values really started to align uh, under a name that was uh, pretty familiar but was uh, sort of being reclaimed, a vintage name was being reclaimed in the modern context uh, of this, this, nascent, this new and nascent retail industry. It's challenging to make projections uh, in this industry because it's a brand new industry. There's no uh, case studies or examples. There's no historical data. It's easy to look to some of our neighbors who have been executing on adult use uh, cannabis for some time. You can also look at the medical dispensary industry, um, but they don't translate the same way to what Canada is doing at a federal level with recreational cannabis. So for all intents and purposes, we're starting from scratch. Um, we're trailblazing, we're creating the data ourselves, we're creating uh, the case studies ourselves. And, um, and I think it's a really unique opportunity to sort of make it our own, um, which has been equal parts a challenge as it is super exciting.